There comes a time in every LEGO collector's life that when they've finished building their LEGO set, they're faced with two choices, putting the stuff on display or modifying it in some regard. Or in some cases, just forgetting about it, but they're not really LEGO collectors, are they? And I've got bitten by the bug of making my own customised pieces, so I'm doing a series of videos on just that. Videos of vehicles I've already got that I've customised in some regard. And this is my second take on this particular video because last time there were two problems, one being the usual autofocus issues and the second being that the neighbour's dog decided to start barking for no apparent good reason in the middle of my dialogue and on listening to the playback it sounded like a Nazgul, a Nazgul that was somehow loud enough to get its noises heard through a solid brick wall. Not quite sure what's going on with the neighbour's dog but there you go. Anyhow, first vehicle, and it is a standard Lego City uh, vehicle of some sort, not a roadster or anything like that. I've just modified it to make it more sort of customised and so on. I think I've already modified the uh, hood or bonnet or whatever you want to call the front bit. Uh, and that may be slightly different from what it was before that. It just gave a little illusion of length to the vehicle. And I think I did something similar with the rear where I extended it outwards a bit. Uh, what I've done otherwise is I've simply added another brick onto the inside of the front bumper and then added another smooth plate here just to sort of get a me meatier feel here because it feels a bit more solid overall. I've also added these discs here and here and I've also raised by one disc, by one 4x, well 2x2 two two piece here just to make the wheels have a bit more oomph to them. Uh, other than that the only other modification is I've put a disc blue little panel here and then I've raised this engine section here and then added this little smooth piece here because if this is supposed to be some sort of convertible type vehicle or even if it's not supposed to be some sort of convertible you rarely if ever get to see a windscreen on a vehicle that doesn't have something along the top you just don't get exposed to glass or perspex or whatever it is they actually use moving on to the next vehicle again it's the same basic model that will port the same set and there'll be a link below to the review for that uh, and as you can see, I've basically gone insane with this. I've added a meteor engine bit. There's more detail on the front to a certain degree. Uh, this I haven't extended forward. Not quite sure how I did that there. I mean, when I look at the ah right, yes, now I can see what I've done. I've moved the windscreen further forward to get that little illusion. I could probably do the same here, but I haven't. And that would probably be all of two seconds work to do. But I've done the same sort of thing here, discs here and here, raised the uh, the wheels by one piece here just to get that meteor vroom vroom type feel. And I've added this red bumper there just to sort of help go with the colour scheme and make things a bit more meteor. I ran out of those pieces here, and I could probably do the same if I found spare pieces like this panel there. If I found more of those I could probably do the same at the rear. Uh, one slight problem with this sort of design, it does tend to be a bit loose, okay? especially on this one for some reason, it comes off a lot more frequently, but you can see overall that this is a fairly meaty design. I've also raised this by one particular section here, you can see there's the code door, there's the brick that I've put in there just to sort of raise things up, things up, get a bit more oomph. And I could do with a bit more brickwork here just to sort of keep everything in line, but I kind of like the look to a certain degree. It does somewhat feel like somebody got a small little truck that they've decided to pimp up and so on. Uh, I mean, you can see the ridiculous extra engine here, which uh, serves no real practical purpose, but yeah, there you go. I'll just put those down there. Then we've got the police car. Nino, 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 wah, 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 and all those are the noises. The only real differences here are that, again, I've raised the... Uh, I've raised the wheels a bit and I've added this little extra bit here. Okay, so these are just side panels. For whatever reason, this set did not come with white doors, which is a bit of a shame because it uh, does make you wonder how the policeman's supposed to get out of the car. But there you go. Uh, I've raised this bit outwards a bit and this front bit otherwise is as standard. Actually, I think it's. No, I've actually modified this as well. This is the engine here has been pushed a little further forward in the same same way as this one has, but to a lesser degree. I think these are actually different windscreens, aren't they? No, same windscreens, just different colours. So 
Luck could be further modified to a certain degree, and this could therefore be brought further back just to sort of, you know, give it a bit more length and intimidation factors, maybe? I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see about that. It's all different things that are different possibilities, things that could be done. So I might do a separate video to show me the, modifying these two, but in general, the roof still comes off incredibly easy, and because I've raised things a bit, he doesn't sit in his in his section that well. I could do with a little bit to you know raise him up and give him a bit of a cushion, and there could be, like though it is on this car here, a little seat thing. I could have done with one of those as well. For some reason, it didn't come with that. The set didn't do that. But all I've done, as far as this one is concerned, is just modify using the parts that came with it, and then I've added these extra little bits here and here which obviously didn't come with it so I've just kind of told a little lie there I modified it once and then I modified it again okay and then used extra parts but there you go I make myself look a liar there don't I then I remembered what it was I actually did but there you go I could modify that again a little bit I suppose but there you go three little customized cars well I'm gonna leave it there but let me know what your thoughts are below if you've got your own customized vehicles please feel free to share and I'll uh, get back and comment on yours as well keep the faith do it a bit